I'm Brian Wasik from the Cornell Food and Brand Lab. We just published a cool paper in a journal called Nutrition Reviews. And what we found is that loss based messages do work best for one group of people. That is, the group of people who are really highly involved in the topic, the people who piecemeal process, that is, they process things in detail, and people who are really, really risk averse. Now, largely, this ends up being people who are on diets, they're dietitians, they're physicians, they're in the medical area. In contrast to that, positive messages, messages like uh, eat an apple to keep you slim, or um, now the rules of thumb in this paper will really help you try to figure out whether your message is going to be effective or ineffective, whether it's going to be effective preaching to the choir, or whether it's going to be effective preaching to people who really need to hear it, but who really don't care that much to think very deeply about it. It works both with food, it works with non-food. Okay, it works as well about telling people to not eat candy as it does to wear more suntan lotion so they don't get skin cancer.